Hey guys, my name is Eustace and this is more Absolver gameplay for you guys on my channel. Now I edited this footage for like the cool visuals and like the cool fighting scenes and so you guys can have an eye orgasmic experience. Now the main guy who I got the footage from, which I recorded from the stream, is with two of his friends. And he's using a sword in this fight and that's just one of the many weapons that you can have in this game. His friends are not using any weapons because I'm not sure why, they just prefer not to. And I mean you don't need to use a weapon, it's not necessarily better or like worse to use one, it's just preference in this game. Now we can see them walking around in the beautiful environment of Absolver. And here's another fight, there was some issues in this one, like the teleporting around but as you can see the game is still in beta. As you as it says in the corner. As you can see they won the fight and the NPC dropped an item that he picked up after. Now that's one of the ways to get items in this game, but it's definitely not the best since all the good gear comes from PvP. Or bosses, I'm not sure about that though. So you can see some of the cool buildings in this game. And here's another fight. This one is 2v1 versus an NPC. And oh, this one was cool. They were underground. I mean, not underground, in the building. But it was quite dark compared to the rest of the game. So I just had to put this in. Over here, we see them fighting. And they step on this thing that says boss. Now, this is the first time we see actual footage or any information about where boss fights will take. But there's actually no footage of the boss fight because they didn't want to stream it. And over here, the guy is fighting two of his friends in a 1v2 duel. He's using a sword. And let's just see how this goes. Now you saw over there the purple particles, that's one of the abilities that you can use with your shards. You can see that the guy with the sword has three shards on him but they aren't charged so you can't use any abilities or get any more swords. Now over here we see one of the dueling arenas but unfortunately the other person left the game because he just didn't want to be on the stream and there was no more footage of that. Here we see him fighting a marked one. It's one of the semi bosses I would say where they're fairly challenging NPCs but they're not quite official bosses. You can find them scattered around the whole world but this is just one of them. This is the Windfall style one. Each one of them I think has their own styles, but we can only see three of them in this footage and in the beta that I played in. This fight is a bit challenging, as you can see that the enemy dodges quite a few moves, whereas compared to other NPCs, they don't do anything apart from block. Over here, he got the sword. And the sword is really good against um, light armor enemies because it just cuts through the armor easily. Whereas if you would be wearing higher armor, it would just do the same damage as fist. Here we see a map, I'm not sure what it represents, but they appear after you kill each one of the marked ones. This is the Tower of Adal. Not seen before either. Quite a beautiful view. There's towers all over the place and just ruins of destroyed buildings and trees and everything just growing around the place. Now here, the guy is gonna go into one of my favorite places so far that I've seen. And actually looks so amazing. Now they are gonna go fight the NPCs in this open territory. Maybe it's the open territory that just makes it look really cool compared to most of the game where there's like trees and buildings everywhere. Now 
Now over here you're gonna go to a different area that we still haven't seen before either. There's a lot of bridges here. I mean th there was one bridge that you saw. And a lot of broken down ruins. This is the beta character customization scene. You can change the origin, sex, haircut and hair color. The origin changes your skin color. Sex changes your sex, obviously. And haircut, there's quite a few to choose from. And I think they are exclusive to their own sex. Now the character that this guy creates is of the Karshi ethnicity and orange hair and he picks the Forsaken style which has the parry ability. As you can see you can also name your own characters so when you have multiple you know which one is which but when you're facing your opponent you see their steam name or their playstation network name depending on what platform you're on. This is one of the starting scenes, but it's also, I think, one of the main areas in the game. As there is a map and an NPC in this area, I feel like you're gonna have to come back here quite a few times. This is the second marked one. He is of the cult style. But in this, in this scene, he is fighting two of the enemies. As you can see, even enemies can hit each other as there is team damage in this game and er you can just hit everything and everything can hit you. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil this fight. I'm just gonna say he loses it. Mainly because he's 1v2 and he's facing a stronger NPC which he can't position against correctly because of their other enemy. Now this is the final marked one that we can see in this beta footage. Here's the Forsaken one. So we have three so far. One is Windfall, the other is Forsaken, and the other is Cult. Oh, I didn't even notice this guy has a pretty cool mask, which is upside down. Now he's gonna go ahead, run away and heal from the NPC. In PvP usually that is punished because once the enemy starts running away you wanna catch them so, so they don't heal. But NPCs aren't that smart enough. Sometimes they chase you but until they realize you can just heal. But this is still just a beta so anything can change. The fight was pretty close, but I think the player won, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and he learned a new ability, Earthquake. So for each one that you fight, you unlock some part of the map. I'm not sure what that is. I think is used to unlock something else in the game, maybe boss fights or new areas or it could be anything. But it also unlocks you abilities and other stuff. In the beta of course, I'm not sure in the main game since no information about that has been released. Now this is one of the dueling arenas and he's facing his friend Dr. Swag. 
This fight was pretty close and I'm just gonna stop commentating here, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see some Absolver gameplay in the future, which I'll make sure to provide once the game is out and possibly record even more streams, which should be Tuesdays and Thursdays on Devolver Digital Twitch. Enjoy. Good, good, good. 